What is going on? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're on the 07 F250s with the six point go. This one's going, but uh, we're having a little bit of a problem with the thing that spools up on top of the engine. Um, I verified that we're getting boost uh, almost to 28 and a half ish. PSI and that's way too dang high so what we're gonna do is we're gonna slap this new turbo on part number currently for your six liter uh, definitely check that out with your VIN but uh, as it sits right now I haven't drained anything haven't gotten any tools out haven't done pretty much anything except for the start of this video My goal today here is to show you guys my way of removing this turbo off of your 6 liter with everything still on and the cab down. Um, not that big of a deal. Uh, you guys can start your counter as soon as I get my tools out and uh, I'm going to spray some WD on my clamps per DTR, get my clampy down there. I'm going to get my clampy there and my clampy right through there uh, so they can get the uh, pre soaking going. But my goal, uh, other than removing this turbo, is going to have this boy off in less than 10 minutes. So you guys can look at that timeline and verify that with me. So let's get a rolling. All right, before I get started, I just want to show you guys, you probably want to know what tool concoctions I'm using. Milwaukee, where you at? Um, I like to have everything pretty much spaced out on the sides because I like to have my uh, workout pad right here so I'm not uh, gouging my tummy out. But uh, I'm going for the ratchet, a pair of uh, angled pliers, my 3 8 wobble 11 milli deep, my 10 milli shorty with a little 6 inch extension couple of combos of 10 mil wrenches. Um, I grabbed Zirang one. Um, and then uh, we got some 8 milli stuff. You'll have to see if you have the braided line or the steel one piece line. So we're going to have to take that line all the way out. So we will actually need our eight milli weeble wobble and then over here on this side uh, I got my pry bar hammer and yada yada so right now let's go ahead you guys can come with me we're gonna go ahead and squirt down our clamp get this one down here get our downpipe clamp oh yeah and then we need to get some light up on this back one because I can't see. Uh, where you at? Where you at, Clampy? She's back there. I need to get different lighting. Okay, there she goes. I can see her back there. Right there. Soak her down. Okay, so it's turbo time guys. Let's get this thing rolling and I will, uh, my goal is to have this thing off in less than 10 minutes. So let's do it. All right, just so you know, we are not editing any portion of this disassembly. Let's get to it. Thank you. 
Alright you guys, I just took my phone out of my little hanger. You see I just took the terrible off. Alright, so it was like 10 minutes and 20 seconds, but still not bad. Um, these aren't really too bad to take off unless you got some aftermarket malarkey or the O3 uh, that has the different bolt there in the back. It can be kind of a bugger to get to. But nonetheless, you guys, tell me what you think about that in the comment section below. If anybody's had to do the same thing that I've done, only using the walkie. And if they ran into any issues doing their turbo. All right, you guys, drop me a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure to catch me every Friday. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.